Hello everybody. I'm just going to do a really quick video. This is a cup I had already and I wanted to play around with some new micas that I got from Woody's Goodies a while back. Sorry the angle is kind of weird but can't tell if this is better with flash on or not. Maybe a little bit better with flash on. Anyway, um, I'm, these are more of the interference type micas or chameleon type micas that you need to have on a black background. So this is basically just a cup that's been spray painted black. I don't love dealing with handles because they're sometimes hard to get right with the epoxy. Sorry, I'm still adjusting this view. But I did practice on one with some of these colors, not all the same a while back and I used a little bit too many of them. This is kind of what it looks like. Really beautiful colors, but I have found that if you use thinner layers, it's a little bit better because you get a little bit more of the true color that way. So I'm going to do my best to achieve that today. Um, again, most of these are coming from, well, all of these so far are coming from Woody's Goodies and most of them are the Peacock series, the Magic Peacock series. So I have sort of pre-mixed them, and I do have three that are not in the Magic Peacock series, which is Conga, Mermaid Melons, and I'm Too Sexy. Um, but the ones from the Peacock series are Blue Violet, Sky Blue, Violet, Bright Gold, Bright Green. And I've not had a chance to play with them yet, so I don't really know what what they're going to look like yet. So I wanted to use them all, all of the peacock, but again, what I did with that last one is I put too much on there and kind of took away from what I was trying to accomplish. So I already put a little bit of epoxy in these cups. I can tell we're going to need a little bit more, so I'm going to do that really quick. The epoxy I'm using today is Faux Rizzle Art Resin UV. Uh, I like a lot of different types of epoxy. Um, I love Stone Coat. Uh, I love KS. Um, I love Faux Rizzle. I do have a link for KS Resin with a discount code in the description box. KS is probably one of the most affordable among the uh, higher quality epoxies. But I also break out really easily with epoxy, so that's why Bow Rizzle seems to work really well for me. So, I still use Stone Coat and stuff. My husband uses Stone Coat a lot. Um, I just have to be kind of sparing sometimes in what I use because I break out. It irritates my skin. So I, this already has a base layer of epoxy on. I do, if you're new to mi mixing epoxy and using epoxy, I do have a video on it. I will do my best to remember to link it in the description below. I know when I first started using it, I watched all kinds of stuff just to Make sure I knew what I was doing. It's not hard, but a lot of people are just intimidated by it. So if you've never used these types of micas before, pigments even, um, they look just like a iridescent color until you really mix them and put them over a darker surface or mix them with other colors. I guess I'm going to keep my epoxy cup over here. Now this particular epoxy is kind of thick when it mixes up, so when it thickens it really gets thick. I was trying to not waste too many gloves, so I was trying to pre-mix as much as possible. Some 
one of these colors does have a color, which is this one. Um, but it looks different on a white background than it does on a black background, so that's the main difference there on that one. And again, I don't really have a serious idea of what I want to do, other than I want to see what these colors look like. So that's why sometimes uh, blank surfaces are kind of nice to have around, because then you're not wasting materials that you might use for customers just to test your pigments out, your paints out. I have a bunch of Woody's Goody stuff I want to check out. I also have some resin art colors and so I have been wanting to experiment so I can see what they're going to look like because then that helps me get an idea for like if I want to do art pieces or if I want to do a cup or and a lot of times when you're a Tumblr artist, people don't know what you can make until you experiment and post it somewhere. Alright, so these are kind of thick already. So this is violet. Whew, I messed that up. Oh no, this is blue violet. Let's see how pretty that is. I'm trying to keep them kind of thin on purpose. And this is sky blue. The reason I'm separating them a little bit in between is because I am going to torch it in a minute so it, oh crap, so it'll spread out. So, and it may swirl. I'm not necessarily trying to keep it super uniform. Um, but when we torch it, it's obviously going to need a little wiggle room. This is violet, so I'm going to put it a little bit further away from these dudes. Okay. This is bright gold. I think I'm actually going to put it in between those guys. Oh, it is bright. And like I said, I'm not super worried if those bleed a little. No big deal. For all we know, they may all end up swirling together before this is over. This is conga. I think conga needs a little more epoxy. I'm kind of thinking maybe I should spread out the peacocks before I add these supplemental colors. Maybe let's do that. This is bright green. Just kind of putting them down in a little, little uh, line down the thing, the edge. I might get the bottom in a minute. This is, um, what is this? What is this? This is I'm too sexy. So let's keep going with the peacocks for a minute. So this is blue violet. This is sky blue. Again, I kind of am separating them on purpose because I kind of want to use the other three to fill in after we torch a little bit. And we 
we're getting close to the handle, so that gets a little tricky. I haven't decided if I kind of just want to leave the handle alone or glitter it up with the rest of the stuff here, so we'll see. These are beautiful. Like, I'm sure that the camera is not capturing how pretty they are. They're very iridescent looking. So again, this is violet, which we currently have. Blue violet, and then we have the bright gold, so let's do that. a little bit too much epoxy but let's see I can't decide if I want to seems weird to not go over the handle doesn't it unless we're swirling which we might sorry you might hear my tumbler uh, Turner in the background squeaking and making all kinds of annoying noises. Okay, so then we did gold, then we did violet. I might not have too much of this, so we might end up swirling. Yeah, way too much. So now we might as well connect on the bottom a little bit. Because we, we are going to have a lot. Mm. And that comes around again. I'm going to get near the handle. Sometimes the turner goes a little faster than I want it to. As you can see, um, my football's also a little crooked, so we're going to hit up the gold on the bottom here. The bottom of these cups usually ends up kind of swirled. It's kind of cool looking. And then I have a lot of this color. Is this the conga? Okay, so I also have a lot of green. I think that's what this is. Nope. I'm very confused at this point. Green, and I don't know what this is. So. Okay. I'm gonna torch it and see kind of what comes of what we've got so far. Kind of something like a swirl would be the easiest approach here. You can see where they break up a little bit. And it's starting to drip. I have to put something underneath my turner. You can see the color a lot better, I guess is my point. I'm so let's add some of this conga in the mix here. Go ahead and jack up the handle a little bit. See that these less is more. I learned that on that last cup. Just the slightest little bit of these colors is like just the perfect splash of color. Of course, that's conga. Sorry, you really can't hear my crazy turn. 
feels overused. Okay, now this is Mermaid Melons. Just a little bit, just a little, little blue sparkle. That looks very different on that black background than it does in this cup. It's really beautiful. I mean, it's beautiful in the cup too, but. Give you a little preview on the handle because that handle's going to be a mess before we're done. So that's fun. And I'm going to end up putting a whole bunch of this in a mold because if I use too much, I'm not going to be able to see the colors. So before I get too carried away, let me get a little bit of the, I can't tell what this is. See, I moved them out of order, and now I can't tell if this is I'm Too Sexy or it is. That's I'm Too Sexy is what it's called, and it is a beautiful color. Just a little bit of color. It's very pretty. So hopefully you guys are enjoying my little experiment. I was just gonna do this by myself, but then I was like, well, I always like it when people experiment on camera so I can see it. And when I'm considering buying something, I also love to see it on something first. So when I was deciding which of the micas to buy, I looked at all these people's pictures that they had posted. And that really helps me, so. And Aaron's products at Woody's Goodies are really very amazing. I really should have a better placemat underneath this. I'm in the kitchen right now, so. So this is kind of fun. It's kind of zebra-ish, and it'll keep swirling a little bit, so. We'll figure out what all we're gonna add without overdoing it. I kind of feel like I should have added thinner layers of the peacocks, but I didn't, so here we are. Let's see. Add a little more conga without going overboard. Oops, didn't mean to scrape that much. Ooh, too much. I just hate to waste it, but I also don't want to mess up our design. So, we don't want to waste it, but let's add a little bit more interference gold. This is the bright gold. There's 
so many pretty colors in here and I don't want to waste anything but I don't have a lot of green so we'll streak some green on there. Oh, my epoxy is getting too thick. At this point it kind of seems like less is more is the direction we kind of need to be going. My epoxy's thickening up so much, I don't even know if it's going to go in our molds very well. Is this too sexy? Yeah. I think, not to be overly simplistic, but I kind of just like it like this. Because when I heat it up, it's going to want to drip. So before I get carried away, let me do that. Turner over time has we made it ourselves, but it's gotten a little crooked. So when I put it in the other room, I think I'm going to put something underneath it to kind of prop it up a little bit so it doesn't slant down so much. Because what's happening is it's slanting down and it's causing it to kind of run and create. patterns on the bottom that we're not really trying to create. So for now, I think I'm going to prop it up with a K-cup. I use K-cups in art all the time. So just give it a little bit of a, an angle. As you can see, it's already kind of started to swirl. I really need to ditch that football. I don't want to get it too liquidy because it'll start to drip. But I like it. It's pretty. I'm going to add just a little bit around the top where it kind of pulled away. Like that. This is green or I don't think so. I think it's the I'm too sexy one. So I'm just gonna streak it a little bit until I know for sure. You know what? I probably should just leave it alone. We'll torch it just a little bit more. I don't want it to run a lot. Like my other one that I showed you has a a little swirl, but I kind of want to have a little back, black background, just a little bit. I think it's really beautiful. Simple. Beautiful. Um, I hope that you will let us know what you think in the comments. Please um, like and subscribe. Please hit the little notification bell. Um, so that you don't miss out on any videos that we do. You know, we do quite a bit of different things. We do resin art. Found the naked spot there, sorry. We do resin art, we do acrylic art, tumblers, of course. Um, so, kind of a diverse channel, but my husband sometimes jumps on and does furniture and stuff with resin. So, you know, I think that we really dripping. Enjoy what we do. Um, you can certainly follow us on social media, Facebook, Instagram, all listed below. We are going to be doing an online auction on our Facebook page soon. I have a lot of pieces that kind of just need to get out of the house to make room for more. So, um, 
love for you guys to participate if you would like the some reduced prices as well so like kind of like a Christmas in July thing just have to figure out which pieces we're going to include and get that going but I'd love for you guys to join um, if you have any suggestions of things that you'd like to see in the future please leave a comment below let me know what you think would you have done more or less I better stop torching that sometimes with the cups with handles they get little bald spots on the handle and you try to fix it, but it causes it to drip a little bit, which I don't like. But, but again, this was just a fun experiment. Um, I will try to remember to link Erin's site. So if you're interested in ordering some of the Woody's goodies, they're fantastic micas, really beautiful. She has so many to choose from and really very reasonable prices she's got excellent customer service um so just all around great to work with um so anyway take care everybody i hope to see you soon hope everybody's staying safe and again would love it if you would like and subscribe and follow us in the future have a great day thank you everyone